With the world continuing to go SUV crazy, it's no surprise to find ourselves here in sunny Corsica to test the latest small SUV. This time it's from Citroen, who have replaced their C3 Picasso MPV with a C3 Aircross SUV. Now that means you get chunky 4x4 inspired looks on the outside, but lots and lots of practical touches on the inside. What's it like compared to rivals such as the Renault Capture and Nissan Duke? Well, let's get on the road and find out. The C3 Aircross is certainly more comfortable than the C3 Super Mini on which it's based. Even on big 17 inch wheels, the ride's only really upset by the worst urban ruts and bumps. As for the handling, well, it's very easy to place the nose of the car thanks to precise steering, uh, although you're not likely to have a great deal of fun in this. This is a 1.6 litre, 120 horsepower diesel, which has loads of low end shove and should prove very frugal, but is quite pricey and can be a little bit noisy when you're working it really hard. We would recommend going for the 1.2 litre PureTech petrol engine. Thanks to a turbocharger, it has plenty of shove, it's still pretty frugal and is more refined. Crucially though, it's a good bit cheaper than these diesel engines. Inside, well, everything looks funky, especially if you opt for one of the colour packs. Disappointingly though, there are lots of hard, scratchy plastics in places that you might touch regularly, although we do like some of the fabric here that you can rest your elbow on. The infotainment, well, that can be a bit laggy at times, and we find that it is mounted a little bit low in the dashboard. Also, seven inches is a little bit small these days. Still, where it really does score is practicality. As standard, you get a 60-40 split folding rear bench uh, that also reclines as well. Top spec models get a sliding element to that rear bench as well, which lets you move it backwards and forwards by 15 centimeters. And you can add that to mid spec models with a family pack. In terms of interior space, well, you get a couple of six footers in the back without them grumbling too much. And the boot is amongst the biggest in its class. It's fair to say that we were left pretty disappointed by the C3 Super Mini in the UK. So we did have our worries about the Aircross. Turns out though, we shouldn't have been so concerned because even on big 17 inch wheels, this is a car that rides pretty well, even on the roughest of roads that Corsica has to offer. Throw in a practical interior, refined and frugal engines, and you've got a car that could do very well indeed in the small SUV class. Obviously, we'll have to wait to get back in the UK to put it against rivals to know for sure. But in the meantime, check out whatcar.com for our full review of this and all of its competitors or subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this and other stuff as well.